What's up everyone, Jimmy Gunslinger here, and I am answering a question from Ruger Ode Army Girl. Uh, if you have not checked out her channel, go do so. She had asked me, how do I, uh, how's a way to cut down one of this, and I looked it up, and I saw some methods, and there was a few other ones, and now the main, the big way to cut down on getting hit in your arm, uh, I got my brother over there, but just so everyone can see, take that off, it is empty. Oh, you can't really see that. It is empty. Uh, hold on one second. We had to get a uh, flashlight, but as you can see, the bore is empty. It is empty. Now, he's going to hold it up as I show what I'm talking about. Let go. All right, this is not how you want to shoot a sharps. It's going to probably be the most accurate, but you're going to get burnt here. You want to kind of hold it like this. So Let me see if I can get this over the head that way it's not in this danger zone right there okay okay now we get that so you want to kind of hold it off a little bit just basically put your hands like this like, like this and then turn to where your <clears throat> thumb is flat here. You got two fingers comfortably underneath and two on the side. Oops. That dang dog lock is so big. That's one way to cut down on getting bit by it, right in this area. Uh, if you're a left-handed shooter, same thing, basically. Like so. Speaker. Basically, if you can put, if you can touch your your hand, can if you cannot put your palm here and then have your fingers almost come in a, doing this. <clears throat> Sorry, hold on, what's that? Sorry, you know, if you have it here and it's tight here, you're too close. That way, it just gives you a little bit of space. Now, uh. This breach block out. Because I'm going to have to look at this in just a second. Show y'all another cool little way to do it. Ah, there we go. That's right for now. Now, uh, there we go. Can you with the dog lock? No, okay. Now, the they're supposed, some people believe that's the barrel. No, that's not the barrel. I'm going to clean this, all of this thing again. Humidity changed so much. I don't know how well y'all can see, but there's rust starting to build back up in there. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to re-oil this thing again. Humidity change has been changing so much here lately that it, it's just rust just keeps going everywhere. Uh, but that's actually what's supposed to keep the gas. It's supposed to push against the front of this to help seal it. But at, on older guns, or even newer ones that you shoot for a while, it stops working. Because it seals up. Get attention off that. So it stops working. Now, there are some newer ones. Let's set this. Hand this to my brother to set on the table for to set it down. There are ones that have O-rings. But this one is m not meant for that. Uh, what I use basic black powder lube. What it helps do is as the pressure builds up, presses this plate right here forward just enough to seal it up. So all the gases are, a lot of the gases are going forward. It's not a complete and total airtight seal, guys. It's not. But I'm going to show you all how I get it in. The, how it's in there. And yes, this is, it's kind of like a hydraulic seal. Like you would see on a crane or something. It's all in there and in here. Basically, you put your lube in here. You use this. You press it down, 
like so and then that acts as your washer basically and it when the gases go backwards it presses pushes this forward and helps cut down the gases and another thing is this is an IBA that's an EMF rifle so there's probably some custom fitting involved in this to make it fit uh, so I have a feeling that started out as a cartridged rifle not as uh, one, uh, paper cutter and someone got the breech block for a paper cutter and the main thing is is because where is it I saw it I think it's on underneath this hold on one There it is. Yeah, see, IBA. But anyway, that's one way I do it. That helped. The two ways that I do it, and I don't have any kind of bruisings or anything on my arms from shoot taking it out and shooting. I want now I gotta since I've noticed that I have to clean it, which by the way, I've cleaned it two days ago and oiled it and lubricated it. So but here's the thing, in those two days it went from ninety to in the seventies. Almost overnight. So that kind of humidity change will mess with your black powder guns. So Especially if you live in the south. But anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed. Uh, sorry I, I don't have any range videos up. Uh, as soon as I'm able to physically shoot these things, I can barely... My brother was having to help me hold this rifle up uh, today to do this little video. The next one I'll be showing you how I keep the Remington running for just a little bit longer. Uh... There's actually two ways I'm doing it. I'm going to show you both ways and one video, so don't worry about that. But right now, i got to get to the sharps. Bye-bye.